Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Cancer Rainbow LGBTQ plus love prediction reading for August 7th through August 13th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your partner's reading, your reading, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind. As, I, as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my kind, nurturing, fun, loving, emotional cancers. Show me, spirit guys, what's going on with my cancers. Let's see, cancers, what you got going on. Let's see. Five of Wands, the World card, Six of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Huh, well, straight up, this is something, you know what? The Five of Wands at the beginning of this reading, it's like fighting. And I think you've been physically fighting with someone. I'm going to be very honest. I think you've been physically fighting with someone. But guess what? You will not be fighting anymore because that, that world card is there. And that world card means that you're done with this person. This Five of Wands is conflict fighting. And I think this is physical fights. I really do. This is someone that you always have fights with. Someone that is very, very... um in your face, someone that you were even afraid of. But but you know what? <clears throat> you are completing this cycle. You are leaving this person and moving on because Five of Wands coming out as the first card of your reading means that you have definitely had fights with this person. You know, this is a very, um, this person's unkind. This, this person's also very, very, they talk down to you. I, I just, they're not a good person. And they put their hands on you. But guess what? You're ending this cycle with them. You're, you're about to let them go in a, quickly. You're about to let them go. Because um, this cycle here completing means that, you know, you're, you're not having this anymore. This is not going to work for you. And good for you. Good for you. This is an abusive relationship. I really see it as an abusive relationship. And I think you are leaving her. You are leaving her. She's very abusive. Not only verbally, but mentally, uh, physically. She's just very abusive. Six of Wands, I see it in the, in the middle of your reading. That means you're winning. That means that you are winning. And whenever you see that Six of Wands, that means that you've won. You've won. You've won because you know why you're winning, Cancer? The Eight of Cups is here. You're walking away from someone that has been very abusive to you for quite some time. You're walking away for a new beginning with this Ace of Wands here. There's a new beginning. You're walking, in, walking into a new beginning. A new beginning. You, you, you've you made the decision that you're not going to be with this person anymore. And the universe has said yes, and you're winning. And here you're going to have a new new beginning with this Ace of Wands. That Ace of Wands um, is a new beginning. I would, I'm would i going to keep reading, but I almost think that there's someone else here too. Someone else here that's kind and loving. But we're going to keep reading and see what the spirit guys tell me. Um, if you give me three to five minutes, let me clarify the reading. Let me clarify the reading. Um, just sit back, relax. Give me three to five minutes. Let me see what additional information the spirit guys want, want you to know. Why is this five of wands here? Show me. Why is the five of wands here for my cancer? Why is the five of wands here? Queen of swords. Whomever you were with, she was bitter. She was angry. See, there's always a reason for people's behaviors. And whoever this person is, you know, hurt people hurt people. And I'll say that all the time. Hurt people hurt people. She's hurt. She's toxic. She's bitter. Um, she fights with you because her heart space is just, um, it's not healed from something. But the Queen of Swords is a very, very toxic energy sometimes. And she's very bitter, just bitter about life. And all she does, she fights with you. She fights with you. But let me say hurt people hurt people. Remember that. So let's see why the world card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the world card here? 
Oh, I have the five of cups. Yeah. Uh, wow. You're down. You're depressed. Um, you feel like um, with this person, you, you just want it to be over. <laughs> I don't even know how else to say it. You want it to be over. This uh, When I see the five of cups, this is just feeling down. No hope. But there is hope. There's always hope. See these three cups down on this card? There's three cups that are down on this card. There's two cups right back here. And your hope is the fact that you're going to get up and move away from this person. That's where your hope is within those other two cups. But you're feeling right now remorseful, regretful. I mean, all, that energy is almost tr about to transfer to you, but you're not going to let it transfer to you. But the five of cups is, is conflict. It's energy. I told you, she's, um, this person's mental. This person um, has conflict. This person, <clears throat> excuse me, this person is um, physically, verbally, um, and mentally abusive to you. Abusive. So let's see why the Six of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Six of Wands here? The Tower. Yeah, this is a sudden ending. That's why you're winning. That's why you're winning. The Tower card means you're, you're walking away. You, it's almost like you're running away, but you're blowing this whole thing up. You're no longer kind and loving and giving. Nope, you're moving on. You're moving on. That tower means you. You. It was like a sudden ending. You. You know enough. Just enough. Let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Oh, Four of Swords. I told you it's a breakup all the way around. Four of Swords is like it's it's done. I mean, you've already broken up with them. Mentally, you've already broken up with them, but now you're physically moving on. The tower means you're physically, it's over this eight of cups and this four of swords. You're physically, this is a breakup. This is I'm done. This is an I'm done, uh, I'm done card. So let's see. This is an I, I'm done reading, period. So let's see why the ace of wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the ace of wands here? Two of Cups, I told you there's someone out here near coming in that is going to be your um love. It's going to be someone. There is someone here that's going to be your, or might already be here. You might already know about this person. But this Two of Cups is someone that you um, are going to be in love with, going to have unity with, going to, uh, someone that's going to be loving, kind, caring. And there's a new beginning with that Ace of Wands with this person. They've given you the strength to walk away from there. I think this is someone you already know. This is someone that's already in your love space. This is someone new that you have fallen in love with. They brought you out. They brought you out of this darkness. But there is someone here. You're walking into someone else's arms because um, she's already. You, you already have a relationship with her. This is not. And when I say a relationship, I don't even think it's gone to the level of intimacy yet. But there's. It's even more. They, she's very kind to you. Very generous. Very loving. This is your person, someone that wants to take care of you. Let's start at the beginning. Five of Wands here. This is fighting. Physically, mentally abusive. This is an abusive relation with the Queen of Swords person. Queen of Swords is a very much a, a, a toxic person, a bitter person. Someone that has gone through some storms and has not healed. She is very, very, She. this is a toxic person. Here you are with the world card here, though. This is mean you're completing this relationship. You're getting out of this relationship. Five of Cups is here, though, and, and that means that you're feeling remorseful, regretful, feeling depressed, down about this. But, you know, like I said, there's three cups that are down. There's two cups that are still up. That's your hope. That's your hope. The two cups are your hope. That's your hope. And just keep moving and look up to your hope. Guess what? I see the Six of Wands. That means you're winning this relationship. And how are you going to win? You're getting out of this relationship with that tower card there. That lets you know you're suddenly moving on. In other words, it's one of those times you, you've taken uh, someone putting their hands on you or talking crazy to you for the last time. This was an abusive relationship. Hurt people hurt people. She's hurting. That queen of swords is hurting. But that's not your responsibility to heal her. And you understand that. But before you were so nurturing and kind, you know, you gave her so many chances. But now the tower is here. You're breaking up because there's someone else that's in your love space. Eight of Cups means you are walking away. You are leaving this relationship and you're not looking back. Four of Swords means you've been contemplating this. This is a breakup, but you've been contemplating it for a long time. You've been contemplating. You've given her chance after chance to be loving and kind to you. But she has to heal. She needs to get some help. Um, and last but not least, this Ace of Wands. And Ace of Wands is all about a new beginning. A new beginning. 
You, there's a new beginning with someone. I don't know. If, I, I tend to think that she's already in your love space. I think you've already fallen in love with her. I don't know if it's ever even been intimate yet, but she's been there for you. And I do. This is someone that's been there for you through this, this mess that you've been through with this Queen of Swords. You are always able to rely on her. And you guys have fallen in love. She's giving you the strength to move out of this relationship to, into another one possibly. And this Two of Cups is someone that she's going to be loving to you. She's already shown her loving, her kindness to you. Yes, that's what I see. And there's going to be a new beginning here. Let me see what the Oracle cards have to say. Let me see. What do the Oracle cards have to say about this relationship? Let's see. Let's see. Here's a great, here's the oracles. Thank you, oracles. It says, I'm putting myself first right now. And that's what you had to do in order to get get um, out of this relationship, relationship. And it also says, I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. That is this person that's already in your love space. Someone that's already there. You have put yourself first. You have gotten out of this abusive relationship. And... You are um, in one of those situations now there that someone is loving on you, giving to you. They've already shown how they are. This is someone that wants to be with you that you don't have to worry about. Um, and this other person, she just needs to heal. But as I say again, hurt people hurt people. And she hurt you. She was an abusive relationship. She hurt you. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Cancer. Cancer.